What's up guys, it's Brandon back again with another review. Today we're going to be looking at Ryan Hildreth and Hayden Pedal's social media mastery program and decide whether it's worth the investment or not. Now before we get into the long part where I describe the course and all of its contents, I'm going to answer the questions that I know you clicked on this video for in about 10 seconds. Is this course a scam? No. Is this course worth the $400? Yes. Am I going to make money on this? Well, that depends on you. Now before I get into my review of the course, it's critical, critical that you guys understand that this course roughly came out about two days ago. So it's still in its infancy stage. So what I'm going to be reviewing today is what you're getting right off the bat. And I'm also going to be talking about the long term uh, benefits of this package. But the course was designed to be updated every week with new content that adapts to what the audience needs. So I'm going to do my review today on what you're getting right off the bat. I'll probably do a review a couple months down the line for what you really got all in all. So let's get into what you're going to get today. So right off the bat, you're going to have access to about 30 videos that are going to go through step by step through how to create your LLC corporation, then how to find local businesses that need social media, then how to create content for those businesses after you've created a contract, and then finally how to run Facebook ads for their programs. The videos are great because they're between 3 to 20 minutes and they're quick, simple, and straight to the point. You can watch them on the way to work or right after you get home from school and that's a lot better than sitting through an hour of fluff like some people I know. Here's what I really liked about the course. I've taken Ty's social media marketing course. I've listened to a bunch of podcasts. I've watched almost every one of these guys' videos. And I'd like to think that I'm pretty well educated in social media marketing. So there really wasn't a benefit of me taking this course. However, I will say I did learn a lot. The first thing is Ty gives you a really, really crappy business audit for you to give to business. It looks like a preschooler made it. The business audit that they show you in the program looks a lot more professional and when I present that to a client, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. It shows where their flaws are in their media and how they can improve them. The second thing I think is real great on the program is that they have templates for doing cold emailing and a little bit on what you can show clients in your past Facebook ad campaigns. I so far have just been going in person to businesses because I really didn't see that there was any way possible to cold email clients. However, after taking this course, I'm definitely going to give it a shot with the materials they gave me. Another great thing is I pretty much was treating my agency as a one man show. I was marketing myself, taking over clients, finding leads, doing all that by myself. In Ty's course, they go over a little bit about how to outsource these jobs to other people on Fiverr and, and you know a couple of those websites like that, but they really didn't talk about how to grow and actually have a sales staff. A couple great tips that they gave in the course were how to find local college students, you know, maybe get some internships going on. Those were ideas I would have never had and I'm definitely going to be starting to go back to my local college soon and try to pick up maybe a couple sales staff to increase the reach of my social media agency. The next thing is that I hated in Ty's course that you he never really went into Facebook ads. They kind of glanced over it like you're gonna do this, you're gonna have, here's a little trick here, here's a little tip there. But they never really went step by step into each category of the Facebook ad. So when I was making my Facebook ads for my clients, there was a couple uh, little details and buttons that I had no idea what they did and I'd have to go all over the internet. And luckily, they walk you through step by step on each Facebook ad, how they do it and who they're targeting. And they already start you off the bat with five different niches. I think you have like real estate, restaurants, and and like an orthodontist office, which is great because now you, oh, you really just have to copy and paste that formula to a local office near you and you're pretty much set. The most valuable feature that I believe is in this course is access to the Facebook private group. I didn't get access to any group with Ty's course and I'm in a couple social media uh, groups on Facebook. However, those groups are kind of really large and a lot of people on there really don't know what they're talking about. So when I have an issue, I don't really have anyone to talk to about. However, with this Facebook group, I can go in and contact Ryan, I can contact Hayden. They've already, I've already posted a couple times today and they've replied instantly, along with about 100 other people that are in the group right now, which definitely feels like I've got a more solid group to ask questions to with a lot better of a base. If this course was just paying for the group, I would even say that's worth it because the insight and access you're gonna get from experts and people that have already done this is what's really gonna help you out in the long run. So now that I'm done boasting up this course, let's talk about what I didn't like. 
One thing I didn't like about this course was that Taya gave a, a little bit of an example for what you should charge people for a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, five thousand bucks, and ten thousand bucks, and what you're gonna give them in each section. Now he still barely went into detail about any of those at all. He just kind of said this is kind of what you're gonna do for them. In this course, they talked about pretty much how you're gonna charge people a thousand bucks a month, but they didn't say what I'm gonna be providing to people past a thousand dollars. So what if I find a, a two thousand or five thousand dollar a month client? I'm still unaware of what I'm going to be providing for them at that price. Another thing I thought was missing in the course was search engine optimization. Now, they do mention in the course why they choose to uh, investigate more into Facebook ads than they do into Google AdWords, and they give a pretty strong reasoning behind that, but I still have some clients that would like to see the results of their web page higher on the Google search engine, and if you take this course as of this moment right now, they aren't really able to help you with that. However, if you did take Ty's course, there was a large portion of it on SEM rush and SEO option. So, I guess we'll give Ty a point for that one. The third and final reason is something that's really been bugging me about both courses and just online stuff. And I've asked a while on, on some Facebook groups and I've gotten a bunch of mixed answers, so I'm really kind of lost in the issue. So basically, I'm still confused as to how many posts should I give per week for a client? You know, and what type of things should I post every week besides ads and giveaways, you know? Uh, if I have a, a Facebook group for a restaurant, am I supposed to post a picture of their food every single day for a week or do I fit other things in there? Now, with my current client base, which is healthcare and a gym membership, I've kind of been posting about three to five times a week and I've just been throwing in their helpful charts, uh, a couple different documents, but nobody has told me what kind of posts they want to see per day and they haven't really gone into uh, what I would really like to see is an example of what these companies have done for their, their clients and just see what they've been posting every single day for a week because it's very difficult to post content every day, especially when you have multiple clients. It's a real pain in the butt. Overall, I think that's like maybe two or three things I didn't like and I'm guaranteeing that upon watching this video and me mentioning it in the Facebook group, those will be added to the course later on. So in my update review, let's see if they fix that. Now guys, remember again that this review is premeditated. So, is that like a murder term? I don't know. Now remember guys that this review is just off the course that just came out. So these options about SEO and content and pricing strategies might be added in the up and coming weeks. We'll find out in my future review of the course, I will mention what they fixed, and I'm sure these things will be added when I post them in the Facebook group. Overall, if you haven't bought Ty's course yet, don't. It is not worth the $1,000 that you're going to be spending. If you have no knowledge of social media marketing and you have no idea what you're doing, but you want to consider this a business and get into it, this is the course for you. For the $400 today, you can buy the course today, have the course completed in its current state by tomorrow, within maybe another three days of research and practicing a little bit, you could probably have a your first client within a week. A week, guys, that's crazy. You could be already making $1,000 within a week of just buying this program. This course is simple, quick, and straight to the point. Within a couple hours, you go from being a nobody that has no idea about internet marketing to a social media expert. That type of value is very hard to come by. Now guys, let's take a step away from the course and just talk about can you actually do social media marketing? And the answer is yes, anyone can. It's so simple to do. The only thing that separates you from me is that I started, if you're looking for a new source of income, you know, whether it's on the side or a full time, if you're trying to only work two to three hours a day, then this is for you. I mean, you can literally go from this. Yeah, dude, I was I was helping this moving company the other day, man. Made a couple hundred bucks for like only 20 hours of work or so, you know? Just, you know, grinding out in these streets, but I'm hustling in the sheets, man. Hashtag entrepreneurship. To this. Oh, hi, I didn't notice you there. I was too busy reading Shakespearean literature, whilst my online company made me thousands of dollars a month for literally sitting here on my ass. I started my social media agency one month ago. In that month, I finished Ty Lopez's course and I finished this course. Both courses have added knowledge, but I've also followed a couple of YouTubers, which I will list 
on my page and in my description that really helped me out. In that one month, I have now acquired two clients paying me a thousand bucks a month each. Now I don't have to work anymore. My part-time job, literally I could quit. And now I'm focusing on acquiring more clients and bridging out my social media agency even more. There's nothing that separates me from you. If you're looking into getting this started, you don't wanna wait until this trend fades. You wanna get on this right now. Today's the day to take this step. And you don't need to start by buying one of these courses. You can start just by watching a couple of Ryan or Hayden's videos. They've been very informative and they give away such awesome content that they'll be able to guide you through the process of just even getting started. On top of that, I will also be posting videos from this point forward about how to start your own agency, fill in the gaps, and outline the process without you having to buy any course. If you want to accelerate those steps and get a real in-depth knowledge, then maybe this course is the right choice for you. Either way, guys, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I've given you the information that you need to make a decision. If you want to check out Hayden and Ryan's course, it will be in the description below, along with a couple other channels that I feel would be really beneficial for you to look into for social media insight. If you guys have any questions about starting your own social media agency, entrepreneurship, or the courses that I've mentioned, feel free to drop a comment below. I will answer all questions that I can. If you want to see more content, subscribe, stay tuned, and until then, be easy. Tell me something, you motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. I'd rather die than to 